another dumb question because it's it's one that answers itself, but I, I want to hear your perspective on it. Um, but um, as I was reading, it occurred to me that this is, you know, the what's the word I'm looking for? The basic framework, the pitch is not um, something that we've never heard before. We we, we know we've, we've got. Uh, if, if I may use profanity on my own show, little badasses uh, that are going to go out there in the world and and, and, and do badass stuff. Um, we've seen that before, but the focus is not just that because there's Kit, who is Jesse's mother, uh, involved within there, and there's a lot of there's a lot of emotional stuff that these stories tend to gloss over a little bit. You mentioned, yes, okay, a lethal, lethal weapon, the original one, had a nice character arc. Uh, and then by two, I wasn't really sure what was happening with the characters. And by by four, like, Danny Glover's never going to retire. Get out of here. <laughs> so why was it uh, essential to include these character arcs? And also, follow-up question to that, how will you keep that going through the series when Jesse becomes a supervillain with powers? <laughs> Well, listen, I think, I think, you know, you touched on it when you said that, you, you know, you can have smart, badass women who, who know how to fight their way out of trouble, think their way out of trouble, code their way out of trouble. But what, is, what, is, what do they do when they get home and they have to interact with their mom, who's also the founder of Athena? Or, um, you know, and they have those clashes that all mothers and daughters do. Or they have, you know, one, a, a clash with one member of the team and, and suddenly they're out speaking to each other. And that, that becomes a real issue between Hala and Jesse through this book. How do you repair that friendship? Especially when you're under so much pressure at the same time. It's not like they're going to work in an office and then coming home, having a plate of pasta and having to think about how they get on again. They're literally having to fight for each other and now against each other. It's, it, it, for me, that's what the, the, the real uh, excitement is in this thriller it's it's how do these women emotionally get on with each other and figure out their messy personal lives as well as the craziness of being in the field because you know that's what agents do it's not like they live in these solitary worlds where they're just badass at home and they're badass on the field it's you know they go home and they're somebody's daughter or somebody's friend or somebody's partner and the stresses there are stresses associated with that and i think ongoing those are those are infinite numbers of stories that could be really exciting to explore you know uh caitlin one of jesse's teammates has been in the military in the u.s and she she served in iraq and she has you know a recurring ptsd that that's something that she has to figure out how to deal with apart from the fact that she's so competent in the field emotionally there are still issues that she needs to get through um, i don't want to spoil uh but there's the uh inciting incident uh where that, that that sets jesse off a little bit on her journey uh in our on our opening action sequence where she makes a, a decision uh that then is going to haunt her um so without spoiling there, there, there's some murder involved uh and there's just real fallout and repercussions from that so how do you prepare for that and why is it important to you uh to show that aspect well, I think, you know, that's something that I've learned in my storytelling because I've always been very character driven. Um, and therefore, you know, I think character is conflict usually. And, 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 you know, I like page turners, even in a literary novel like my previous ones, like The World Unseen. But, but with the Athena Protocol being a thriller, I really wanted it to start with a, a big conflict. And I didn't want that conflict to be, here's a problem over here, let's go solve it. It's not just an external problem. It's the fact that Jesse crossed the line. She broke orders in a rogue agency. And as Lee says, this is a rogue agency. We cannot have a rogue agent. We've all got to live by our, the code that Athena sets. So if in chapter one, Jesse's gone over that line and gets fired from Athena, uh, which unfortunately everybody who's reviewed the book has mentioned. So <laughs> I figure we might as well <laughs> just go with it. You know, by chapter two, she's already got an uphill struggle to, to get back, not only to help the team bring down the human trafficker, but she's not on the team, so she's not really legally allowed to help them. So now she's got to claw her way back, uh, do it on her own. She's getting deeper into trouble without her team watching her back. Um, and at the same time, she's going after the human trafficker while her team are coming after her. So I thought, how many more obstacles can we pile on this girl and let's see how she deals with it? Cause she's a smart girl. So let's, let's put her onto some pressure. Well, at least through the first uh, few chapters, she still has all of her hands, all of her feet. <laughs> plenty, plenty of ways to hurt her yet. <laughs> 
Well, let me, uh, what did I, uh, because, well, one, um, there was a, such a wonderful um, moment of, uh, of, of debate for the reader, because again, without spoiling, I'm on board with what Jesse did. I, 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 I my biggest complaint was they didn't kill more people. Yeah. <laughs> they, were, okay. they go in there with sleeping darts. So I'm like, sleeping darts? No, not these guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we don't feel, I don't think we feel terribly bad about what she's done because we understand, but the thing for me was to understand, not judge the characters, just understand where they're coming from. Then, you know, if you as a reader want to say that was just bad, Jesse deserves to be fired, that's your call. And if you say, you know what, I, I would have done the same. I think that's great. As long as we're understanding where Jess, what Jesse was feeling at that moment, then I've done my job as, as the, as the author. Oh, I would have done the same. And I also felt that Jesse deserved to be fired. <laughs> I wanted it in both ways. There you go. That's as much as I could dance around it without just flat out telling a steamed audience <laughs> what happened. So pick up the book. Uh, you're 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 gonna get excited. Um,